Hi, my name is Amir Alavi. I'm a machine learning researcher at SEER, and I'm presenting Challenges in Large-Scale Proteomics Data Analysis, a survey of characterization and correction solutions for batch effects. Technical confounding can be introduced as samples are run across different mass spec instruments, LC columns, dates, geographic locations, and other covariates, for example, in large-scale cohort studies. To address this, in this work, we first characterize and diagnose the batch effect present in protein intensity data using qualitative visualizations, as well as a few quantitative metrics. Then we apply many batch effect correction methods across proteomics and other omics, as well as developing our own deep learning based method. We extend domain adversarial neural networks to learn batch invariant representations. The neural network is trained to learn an embedding of protein intensity data, which is poor for determining which technical batch the sample is from, while simultaneously being good for predicting biologically relevant labels like the biosample. We also experiment with an unsupervised reconstruction approach. Finally, we benchmark and compare all the performance of all of these methods using batch integration metrics, one of which is the LISI score, which measures the effective mixing of labels. We observe that our approach achieves the best trade-off of mixing and integrating data across different technical batches while maintaining distinct signals in biological variables. We also assess the quality of the embeddings from these different approaches for downstream tasks like classification. In conclusion, we see that batch effects can contribute to a large amount of the noise in large-scale proteomics datasets compared to biological variations, and we observe a batch effect in our dataset. We also see that deep learning-based approaches can learn to integrate diverse proteomics datasets well, and our extension of DAN can harmonize data across technical factors while maintaining the fidelity of the biological signal in the data. Finally, while our model can harmonize the data well, the representations it learns are most useful for classification. Future work, such as our unsupervised variant, may learn more general purpose batch corrected representations.